you know, Anna is wondering about the stability of change and, and what happens. Oftentimes we wish that we would somehow be purified by a transformative therapy and have no defenses or whatever, but I've actually never met anybody who's been purified, including myself, in case you were wondering. So what do we mean then when we help patients with defenses? If I was in the room with you and I would say I handed you my glasses case, take my glasses case, and she would hold it herself and says, no, you can't have it, John. She could take my glasses case <clears throat> because it's a thing. But no one can take your defense because a defense is how you handle feelings. So, for instance, I've had about 20 years of therapy myself. And if I want to project today on Inga Marie, I can. No one can take that away. If I want to intellectualize with Amir, I can. Let's suppose I'm with Samantha and I want to go to self-attack. I can do it. Defenses are ways we handle with feelings. Those options are always available. It's just like as a driver, you always have the option to drive in reverse rather than go forward. So the important thing to know, we can't take defenses away. They're choices about how to handle feelings. Ideally, the therapy is going to help patients see their defenses, face their feelings rather than use defenses and be able to deal with conflicts more successfully. Because remember, we're helping patients be able to embrace and deal with their humanity. And no therapy is going to offer patients omnipotence or omniscience. Life is hard. No one can take your defense because a defense is how you handle feelings. Those options are always available. 